Hello everyone and welcome to Lockdown Learner. Today we are having Karan Dhawan who have recently completed his internship in Aptin as a software developer. So Karan, introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Karan Dhawan and I'm currently working at Aptin and I have pursued my B.Tech degree from Chitkara University and currently it has been like uh, one and a half years in Aptin and it has been a great experience there. So how you have applied in Aptin? Aptin uh, actually came to my college as a in the placement drive. So in that placement only, I yeah I signed that. Okay. So there was how many rounds Sorry. of technical and HR in Aptin, and what was your experience in, during this round? In Aptin, there was only one technical round. So in that only I got yeah. Okay. So one technical and one HR, or only one technical. No, no, just one technical round. Yeah. So that was totally based on data structure or resume based also? Yeah, actually they saw the resume also and uh, after looking the resume, they were asking the questions. Okay, from your projects, right? Yeah, yeah, from projects, yeah. Also some problem solving, uh, some questions and all also they asked. And uh, regarding uh, languages also, they asked some things. Yeah. Okay. So how we have prepared for interview of app team? Uh, in interview, uh, for interview, I think uh, first thing I did was I like cleared my basics. Like if I know the C language, okay, so I, I should know all the basics from that. After that, I move to the problem solving. Problem solving, you can like do that from online platforms, anything, hacker rank and all. After that, I did like interview bit. There's a online website. You can visit that. Uh, it was it was quite helpful. Like uh, there were real time questions, like from Amazon or from Oracle. So these questions like really build your confidence, and uh, they can help. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So which plat uh, which platform you prefer for coding practice? Hacker Rank, Hacker Geek for Geeks, or Lead Code? Uh, I think Hacker Rank will be my choice. Yeah. Okay. So what kind of work you do at Aptin? Uh, in Aptin, we are currently working on a product. So uh, in that product, uh, I, I'm currently as a software developer. So uh, we have like, uh, we have like use cases, you can say. So in that use cases, we have to complete the assigned work. That is, uh, there is a iteration. So uh, we are using the agile system. So in that particular iteration, we have to complete the work. Yeah. Okay, so on what technology you're working? Yeah, so uh, we are working on .NET framework. So that consists of C Sharp and VB.NET. So currently we are uh, more focused on C Sharp because uh, that is the latest uh, and more like uh, it has more features. So that technology we are using. So which language you prefer for doing coding? Java, C++, C Sharp, Python or C? Mm, uh, actually, uh, uh, from college to like uh, office, like my that perspective has been changed because previously we used to work on C and C++ only. But right now, like uh, when I learned this uh, advanced languages like Java and C sharp, so right uh, now I prefer more towards them because they have like more features like uh, object oriented programming and like they have these generics and this data structure. So we can more easily uh, work and more easily make the programs. So I prefer them like advanced languages only, right? Okay. So if any fresher is preparing for campus placement drive for F team, so from where he or she should prepare or what kind of things he or she should prepare? So if you are like, uh, you are uh, focused on like uh, campus placement, okay? So first thing I would say, like you have to clear your all basics. Like you can uh, get, you can just uh, take one language like C or C++, whichever you want, okay? So you should uh, clear all the basics and you should be knowing everything about that language because the, you don't know like what interview will ask, okay? He can ask like any, any of the concept. Okay, so the next thing you will do is you will uh, come up with a program sol problem solving. You can do it from any platform. So problem solving will help like you to, if, if they give you any questions, okay? So you can easily solve them. Okay, so after that, when you are like pretty confident, like you can solve any problem from that. Then you can focus on like uh, time complexity, like reducing that and all. And you can uh, improve your like dynamic programming also. Because that is the like, that is I would say like the last level that you will prepare. 
because okay. after that like they won't ask like more difficult question like that is the last thing okay so and some companies ask like some don't like that depends actually yeah so dynamic programming is an important topic for campus placement Mm, according to me, like actually in our campus, like which all companies I have sit in, so they all asked that I'm programming. Like not all asked, uh, some of them like they were they were like mixed questions. So you can you can do with dynamic dynamic programming, or you can go with the traditional ways also. So that depends on like company. But I would suggest like if you if you are pretty confident in pro- problem solving, okay, so you know like what you are doing. So after that, go for that pro, uh, dynamic program. Okay. So, what obstructions you have faced during the internship period? Uh, in internship period, I would say like uh, first thing would be like uh, food because like I I have gone from like north to south. Okay, mm-hmm. so there was a lot of change in that food. So so that thing like it takes time. So that was my one obstruction. And other than that, like in company. See, from when we are going from a college to a corporate world, so that is a huge change. So that was that I would say like uh, that uh, it takes time to adjust in that environment. So yeah, but uh, in Aptin, I would say like uh, they were pretty helpful in doing such things. Like they they told us like whom to go and whom to approach if you want to ask any questions and all. So yeah, so that is like that is my that is it. So, what was your learning at Aptin? Uh, in Aptin, actually, uh, we had a boot camp. So, it was a three months boot camp. In that, they taught us about the .NET framework. Actually, previously, we didn't have any knowledge about this C Sharp and .NET framework. Okay, so they taught us like all the concepts. They gave us courses, different different courses that we can go through and we can learn from that. And also, there were uh, daily assignments. So we had assignments. We we would uh, we would be like uh, they they had marks also in that. So after that, uh, when the all the learning was completed, so we had uh, three projects. They were like a uh, dummy project that uh, so that we should know the complete flow of the of a project. Okay. So after after completing those projects, we were like uh, after three months, we joined the real time product. That is a working product. So in that, uh, they they told us like you will get a uh, more exposure in that. Okay. And actually, that works. Actually, if you if you are working on a product, like if you are if you are learning something, and then you implement that on a product, so that is like, that is it. Like you will get a full foolproof knowledge of that. Okay. So that is very helpful. So Appin is a product based company or a service based company? Yeah, it is a product based company. So there is any famous product of Appin in India? Mm, I think in India there there is not uh, enough like customers. So there is a product called M to M, made to manage, and there is a respond product. So basically these are like uh, uh, M to M is a food. Man- so Karan, you do coding also. So and how much time you spend on coding? Mm, right now I only spend like two hours at per day. So that is like not like consist. I'm not consistent in that to be honest. Uh, but I think if you are like preparing for interviews and all, so I think five to six hours you have to give for that. Okay. Yeah. So you are preparing for any company or get mm, like- not? No, 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 not right now. Actually, I'm like uh, I I'm exploring like new technologies and all, like React, uh, Angular, and all. So basically, I'm like going towards like more like okay. new technologies. You can let me truthful. No Appin person is saying that if you want to switch a company or like if you want to apply for it. <laughs> no. No, 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 nothing like that. <laughs> so, do you have any suggestion for upcoming interns in Appin? Uh, I'm um, for that. I think like you should be like. I think the I've said that before also. Like you should be clear with your basics, and program pro, problem solving. That should be like your main concern. Okay. So you should be like perfect in that, and other than that, like be confident in the interview. And anything they ask, like you just you give the answer if that is if, even if that is uh, wrong also. Okay, just be confident in the interview. So you have seen any change in yourself after college and now in corporate world? 
yeah a lot like uh, previously like i do, i didn't used to like interact a lot with people but right now like uh, in company you have to interact with people like you just you can't just like sit in a corner and do your like work you have to interact with people and you have to like uh, some of some of some in the uh, some of the day yeah, you will be you got stuck okay somewhere you will get stuck so at that point you have to ask someone so if you are not interactive and you are not like you just have to let go for that other than that uh, uh besides that like uh, in coding standpoint so a lot of coding changes have been there so previously we just used to like solve the problem okay we didn't see like what coding practices we are using and what all like if we are using the correct way so at that in that in that point also and there is a lot of improvement here yeah. okay so thank you karan for being a part of lockdown learner so any question for us Mm, uh, yeah actually i wanted to ask like uh, what and all like uh, what is what is your audience like what and all area you are covering in this one i was curious yeah. okay so basically we are covering the area for the university students who are currently pursuing btech so there will be like some help for them for preparing the campus placement or like for off campus placement how to prepare and which topics are important and what is the culture of company and like these kind of questions we are covering in this and helping those students who are preparing for campus placement okay actually yeah, that is a great initiative yeah i must appreciate thank you, you.